beans, cauliflower, and broccoli. We always season it with just olive oil, salt, and pepper. Pretty simple, but always tasty. Now I need to figure out how to season white bass. I'm gonna just season it with um, salt and pepper. Next is your imagination. Some garlic and some shallots. So just... No need to cut it in small pieces, bigger pieces. So next I'm using Meyer lemon, a combination of orange and lemon. But then I have some dill here, tough it, make a few cuts. Oh, delicious. So vegetables and the fish are in the oven. Temperature 390. So the fish has been at the oven for probably 20 minutes uncover so here you go nice and crisp from broiling so the fish has been uh, under the broiler for probably 10 13 minutes and these are the vegetables good morning everybody this is Monday morning it's my breakfast so I'm having half a cup of um, cooked buckwheat I cooked it last night in a slow cooker. Then I have um, one third of a cup of egg whites, one whole hard boiled egg, a little bit of avocado and some tomatoes, salt and pepper. Simple but balanced. Okay, so here's my lunch. Nothing really special. Some leftover vegetables. I have cauliflower, green beans. I put them one fourth of a cup of buckwheat, one whole egg, some egg whites, and some tomatoes. So we just got home and we are about to cook our dinner. So these are the squids that we picked up at fish market over the weekend. So adding some lemon zest here, pepper, and olive oil, chili, red chili pepper, lemon juice. I'm also prepping some chicken, chicken breast. Super simple, salt, pepper. I made a few holes in the chicken breast and I put a pieces of uh, garlic inside for just some flavor, some rosemary and some thyme and some onions. So I'm gonna just uh, pop it in the oven for probably 30 minutes. Okay, so everything is ready. Chicken is here, vegetables and squid, shrinks a lot. So we've got some roasted root vegetables here and some delicious looking salmon. So how do you season the salmon? Olive oil, salt, pepper, and then I poured a sauce that was uh, dill, lemon, and mustard. Dijon mustard. Good morning everybody, it's breakfast time. So I'm having buckwheat with blueberries and almond butter and I also had some eggs before and of course my coffee. So I'm making guacamole right now. I've got one avocado. I added cumin, salt and pepper and I squeezed one whole lime. I like my guacamole spicy so I also added jalapeno with seeds and some cilantro and I'm gonna add some tomatoes and mix it up. I always use fork to kind of break bigger pieces. I always add tomatoes at the very end because 
If I add tomatoes right now, it will get watery. Smooth consistency like this. Taste it, make sure that you know it's it's good and salt, pepper, lime juice is very important, and again, jalapeno and cilantro is optional. Some people add onion. Okay, now I'm gonna add some tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, stir it. And our guacamole is ready. So the vegetables are pretty much ready. So we are, I have mushrooms, zucchini, peppers, and squash. And here I'm warming up um, black beans. So it's just black beans. I put a little bit of um, salt and pepper, cumin, and I'm gonna warm it up and then mash them with the pork. So that's here. And John is making um, ground bison for himself. So everything is ready. Guacamole. We have vegetables and corn chips. Those are beans, ground bison, and just some toppings with tortillas. So I just got from the gym and this is my quick lunch. I'm having some quinoa here. I have zucchini, some spinach, carrots, tuna, avocado, and some, um, and this is hearts of palm. So just simple with some lemon juice, salt, pepper. Tastes good. So tonight for dinner, we have in some asparagus, and these are zucchini, and I had one uh, leftover pepper, so I just chopped it in. And here we have a rainbow trout, lemon juice with some Dijon mustard and some dill. So just a little bit and a few slices of lemon and we're gonna all bake it. Look at this, delicious. Rainbow trout. So this is uh, some simple salad, tomato sal salad that I sometimes make just as a side dish. So just slice large tomatoes, um, apple salt, pepper, a little bit of uh, olive oil, balsamic vinegar. Uh, here's, here I have some feta cheese. Ideally, I would put some um, basil, but I don't have it, so I use some mint. This is feta cheese, but I think what makes it very unique is Herbes de Provence, and I also uh, put some pistachios on top. I also prefer buying just raw pistachios. I got this at Whole Foods. So simple. So I'm driving back from my body pump class and uh, um, I got a question from one of the girls in my class and I hope she doesn't mind that I mentioned this, but I think many girls um, when they come to my classes and just in general start working out, they're right away, um, the question that they always ask is when um, I'm supposed to start seeing or noticing some changes uh, to my body and it is it's not easy first of all and it's exercising it's um, eating clean but I think the the most important thing is that you will see the change at the moment when when exercising becomes some sort of a habit for you um, which means that you break that point when you are about to give up because you're like oh I kind of don't see any changes so I'm gonna give up it doesn't work and so when you break through that point then when the magic happens so stay strong believe in yourself I believe in all of you and I can promise but I will try to do my best to make sure that you are happy with who you are how you look like 
but it's always up to you to decide if you are willing to challenge yourself or not.